is really sad, but here's all the boxes. And we're all loaded up to go, unfortunately. This is my entire Briar Model Horse collection. This is my parents' house in which I used to live, but my parents have been gracious enough to let me keep the collection here as a showcase and they put up all these wonderful shelves for me and made this a beautiful display. They have decided that they are going to be doing renos in the house. So yes, I have to box up 250 model horses because they want to redo the floors in this room. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna suck. I'm not actually having to like get rid of them. I'm not actually having to move them. I just have to temporarily get rid of them so that people can the people can work in here and they can start the renos. Originally, I thought I was only gonna have to do like these main shelves on the floor and obviously the custom. If there's a possibility of them doing carpet renovations, then they would technically be hammering the floor and they technically hammering the stairs. So carpeting takes hammering, which means that essentially all the models have to come down because I remember my parents redid the outside of their house a couple years ago and I had some models on a shelf on the wall and every day I came into the room the models were on the floor and I couldn't figure out why I thought the cats were jumping up and knocking them down but it ended up being that they they were pounding on the side of the house and it was vibrating the shelves and the horses were all falling off the shelves. So we don't want that and it's way too valuable and they're way too precious so we're just going to box them all up. I will decide if I'm going to unpack all of them again or if it's going to be kind of, it's time to put some of them away in storage, I don't know. That's where we're at with this. This is where I will probably start to question whether I need this many horses or not and if this was even a good idea to have this many horses. <laughs> Anyways, um... I guess we can get started and get to it.
four hours later, we have completed the project. Ooh. So it looks very, very naked in here now. It's never been without. And I just decided to lay down quite a few of these guys because I don't think they'll shift. Uh, but the rest are boxed up. And this is what the entire Briar collection looks like boxed up. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. And the remainder of the models are living in the spare bedroom over here. I just laid out the customs so I don't risk any weird things happening, rubs, whatnot. Uh, blossoms over there. My mom's china horses are here. And my very most valuable, very fragile horse briars are here. So it's something I've never experienced before. Puts it into perspective that I don't need as big of a storage locker as I thought. They'll be staying like this for a little bit, and then I probably will unbox them. But it is kind of questionable because I might be moving soon, so maybe they'll just be boxed up forever. I don't know. Only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm very tired. I'm going to go lay down now. <laughs>